New at six, helping local churches in their fight with a former furniture store in Franklin County. 10 News has learned church furniture store has filed bankruptcy, leaving hundreds of congregations and businesses in limbo. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas has been searching through new documents. So Rachel, what have you found? Well, we got a copy of the 124 page document detailing the Riggs Group petition to file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. It lists in detail over 300 entities they owe money to. Many churches and businesses have reached out to us since we first aired this story three weeks ago. Today, I spoke to a bankruptcy expert about what this means for them. A 28 year old Franklin County business gone bankrupt after decades of supplying church furniture. There's now a for sale sign outside and according to new documents obtained by 10 news, we've learned the money made in the sale of this building and other assets. The church furniture store will liquidate will determine how much money those owed will receive. Beverly Walters Church in Texas is owed more than $17,000. I just hope out of the goodness of the heart that they give us back our money. Myron Atkinson's church in Roanoke is owed $5,000. That's a lot of money and we have nothing to show for it. According to this 124 page petition, the Rakes Group filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. It is essentially a liquidation bankruptcy. So that's a company that has basically decided it's not going to remain in business. It's not able to pay all of its debts. We sat down with the bankruptcy expert, attorney Andy Goldstein in Roanoke, to talk about what that means for churches waiting on refunds. He said much will be left to the accounts trustee. Whether he or she can sell those assets and still generate enough money to have some money to pay the creditors. There are more than 320 creditors, including 150 church congregations across 31 states and three countries, owed a total of nearly $3.4 million, most of which are from Virginia, including 25 churches that span across the state. Generally speaking, Goldstein says for those owed money, it's not looking good. Mostly a Chapter 7 is not good news for a creditor. Um, it's not common that the results of a Chapter 7 is to give a particularly large distribution to the unsecured creditors. It does happen, but it's not the general case. This afternoon, the Riggs Group attorney responded to us for the first time and said the financial troubles are due to the slowdown in church furniture sales in the past several years and an increase in operating costs. There will be a creditors meeting on March 1st in Roanoke where those owed money can attend to ask questions. We're posting more info online at WSLS.com. In studio, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.